what's up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know, IYCDK.blog. So uh, we're going to kick it off. Uh, yesterday we discussed which was the top 10 um, female rap albums of all time. That was a part of this list from the Rolling Stones, the 200 greatest hip-hop albums of all time. So that, what we discussed yesterday, was just the top 10 female rappers' um, uh, greatest albums of all time, according to Rolling Stone. And it was trending, so that's the reason why um, we discussed it. So just to go over who's the top on the top 200, um, number five was to pimp a butterfly. That's Kendrick Lamar. So Kendrick Lamar was number five in the top hip hop albums of all time. Uh, number four was Public Enemy, one of my favorite rap albums ever. To me, possibly the greatest rap album ever. Public Enemy takes a nation of uh, millions to hold us back. That's number four. Uh, number three was Jay-Z, The Blueprint. Great choice. Another great album. Um, the Blueprint, to me, was Jay's um, best album. And uh, Reasonable... No, no. To me, second best. Reasonable Doubt, to me, should be there. Reasonable Doubt's a better album to me than The Blueprint. The Blueprint ends up number three. But I think it was Reasonable Doubt. Outcast Staconia is number two. And the number one greatest album of all time, according to Rolling Stone, is Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die. I actually liked um, Life After Death better. Kanye West came in at number six with My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Great album. And of course, Missy Elliott, as we discussed, where she was number one on the female list. She was number seven um, on the all-time greatest hip-hop uh, albums of all time. Wu Tang Clan comes in at eight. That's Into the Wu Tang. Nine, A Tribe Called Quest, The Low End Theory. I can see that. that. That's right where it should be. It's right in there. So, and they have Drake Take Care at 11. And Lauren Hill was number 10. And we discussed that. She was number two on a ladies list. So, let me know what you think of that list. Um, do you agree with Ready to Die being the number one? Of all time, and uh, what about any what any of, of your other favorites where they fall at? What do you think of those greatest albums of all time? Your girl Snow Allegra, she um, had a concert, and Jay Z and No ID was there, and it was announced that Snow Allegra is now a part of the Rock Nation. Family now. If you don't know who Snow Allegra is, um, I'm going to assume she does. I believe, I think she's categorized as neo soul. Um, she's got a lot of number one um, neo soul records. So I've never personally listened to Snow Allegra, but I do have. You know, they they put her like in the same categories like Solange, and some say she's like the new Sade. You know, so. But she's got, what, over a million followers on Instagram. And Jay-Z made it a point to show up at this uh, event to see her perform. So she's now a part of the Rock Nation family. Let me know if you're interested in Snow Allegra. Have you heard any Snow Allegra records? And what is your favorite Snow Allegra record? If, if I needed to get introduced to Snow Allegra, you should tell me. Tell me what song I should listen to. And I'll make sure I'll, I'll look at everyone's suggestion and go check that out. You know me, I'm an open-minded person. I've always meant to check her, her workout, but I usually check everybody out at least once. But let me know in the comment section what Snow Allegra, um, hope I'm even saying her name right, record should I check out? There you see Jay-Z and No ID out there with Snow. And she's now down with the Rock Nation family. Speaking of Jay-Z. This will be an exclusive to you guys. 
Now, you remember the, the site, in case you didn't know, she has a group chat with a lot of pub, different publicists. And she told everybody about the secret meeting with Jay-Z and Rihanna and Beyonce years ago. And she let everybody know that you're going to start seeing some PDA with Rihanna and Beyonce. And then like a week later, Rihanna was blowing kisses at Beyonce. She was blowing kisses, rubbing her belly. You know, it's PDA that we had never seen before between those two. So, um, well, guess what? <laughs> there was another meeting. And it was not a good one. According to my sources, Jay-Z wanted to find out when Rihanna was coming back in her comeback record, he wants to be with Beyonce. Now, Beyonce, you know, according to sources, quotes me at, at Columbia, right? It's another word. Remember, G used to work for Columbia. Beyonce said a long time ago, she would never do it. Now, this is, you're talking when she's still in Destiny's Child. All right, just coming off into a solo, getting ready to go solo. She said she would never do a record with Rihanna because she uh, uh, allegedly said she don't think Rihanna's all that talented. So, but Jay-Z has always been the one, you know, of course they had the affair rumors that, that already put Beyonce in, in uh, you know, bad spirits when it comes to Rihanna. And even though the publicist came out and said, oh, he made that up. You know, um, Beyonce doesn't believe it. Beyonce believes 100% from what I hear that these two messed around. And so does everyone in the industry. But that's neither here nor there. There was a alleged heated argument, heated discussion. And, Beyond, and Rihanna allegedly disconnected the phone call with Jay-Z. She's totally over Rock Nation, seemingly. She basically told Jay-Z she doesn't know when she's coming back. She just had a baby, and um, she doesn't know when she's coming back. You know, according to the sources inside this group chat, person was saying that Jay was like, well, yeah, well, that's, that's your excuse now. And um, it's legitimately a reason. I'm not calling it an excuse, but, you know, you haven't put out an album in nine years, you, you know, your, your baby was just born a couple months ago. So, you know, but you just put out, I mean, you haven't put out an album in nine years. You know, your baby's what, five weeks old, if that? <laughs> what was your excuse before then? Now you have a reason. But before this reason, there was excuses. So... He wants her to come back, allegedly, and do this record with Beyonce. Beyonce is sitting there like, I don't know, Jai. I mean, why would I need to do a record? Of course, she didn't say that with her. But Beyonce's attitude is probably like, why do I need to do a record with her now? My career, I'm on the tail end of my career, and I don't, I don't have one record with her. Why would I need to do a record with her now? But Jay-Z believes that Rihanna coming back and um, uh, that would be a perfect comeback record and that would re-spark the interest in Beyonce if they see, oh my God, Beyonce and Rihanna is finally friends. You know, he believes that would spark an interest. Jay's thinking from a marketing standpoint. But it doesn't sound like Rihanna was, was all that intrigued with not just doing a record with Beyonce, but just doing music, period. So we're going to have to see, is Rihanna done? We'll find out. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe.